Beckham. Well, Beckham Field at USC isn't used to having games this time of the year, but tonight was a special occasion. The Wounded Warrior amputee softball team played a doubleheader tonight against softball alumni from USC and local first responders. Their message, a life without limbs is limitless. No shame to my nub game. Cody Rice says he isn't ashamed to strap on his prosthetic after losing a part of his leg while serving in Afghanistan. He is among dozens of other men who joined the Wounded Warrior Amputee softball team and travel around the nation playing the game and raising awareness for wounded veterans. And these guys are living the life and getting a chance to be an athlete again. And they're educating, inspiring people along the way. Army veteran David Van Sleet started the team five years ago after seeing the guys come back from war. Well, when these guys were in Iraq and Afghanistan and they got injured, they didn't think they were going to live. And they certainly didn't think they were going to walk. And to play a sport again was the furthest thing from their mind. But with the help of therapy and a prosthesis, they're able to get active and get back on the field playing the game that they love. I played softball before I got hurt. Leonard Anderson lost his arm during his second tour to Afghanistan in 2012, but that hasn't stopped him from being a pitcher on the team. I use a lacrosse net hooked onto a different uh, device, and it gives us a chance to get out here and kind of get our competitive edge back, get back up on our feet, not sit around. You know, it's really easy to sit around after injury, and that's kind of what this team stands for is not doing that and, you know, kind of taking charge. The Wounded Warriors played alumni from the USC softball team and local first responders. Kate Abney was happy to host the event with the Fund for All organization. So it's really special to bring something new to this area, let people gain some awareness about um, our veterans and some of the struggles that they go through, but to also put a new spin on it and to see, yeah, they have some limitations, but they overcome them. Now, the guys didn't hold anything back tonight either because they beat the USC alumni softball team 19 to 6 and the local first responders 43 to 18.